Thank you so much. And look at this system stretching all the way from the south up into New York City into Maine. We have lots of baseball games that are canceled, folks. I know it's opening day. It's exciting, right? I'm all excited, but not the most exciting time of the year for some places, if you are by the East Coast, with some of these baseball games getting canceled. And we're going to see that rain once again in the region by tomorrow. For now, though, moderate to heavy rain in some spots is falling overall, though, light to moderate, we would say on average all over the state. That's going to continue overnight tonight. We're going to see some moderate to heavy rain by tomorrow. Same story, rain in the area, but then cooler temperatures roll in right on the back end. We're going to see just a little bit of that snow trying to sneak its way into our area. Surfaces are going to be wet. They're going to be mild. We're looking at very, very minimal accumulations, if any. But on the back end, we are definitely going to see a little bit of that transition into some snow all over the state. Well, pretty much all over the state, right? There are going to be a couple of spots that are just going to see some flurries, maybe some snow showers mixing in with that rain. But overall, though, we will see that snow on the back end as the cooler temperatures start to roll on in. Future snowfall, like I was saying, very minimal. Pretty much nothing here in town. Maybe a trade. Uh, to half an inch to an inch in some spots, mainly in the eastern part of the state, right about here, uh, right at that border. That's because um, the colder air is just going to arrive a little bit later, especially into those late afternoon to evening hours on Friday. And then maybe a little bit of accumulations will be possible by Saturday morning. Now, rainfall wise, though, whew, we are looking at a lot more rain to come over an inch of rain here in town, right at the coast, uh, Bar Harbor, Machias, Rockland around an inch and a half to even more in some spots still to come on top of what we've gotten so far, which is almost two inches of rain in some spots. Winds are pretty calm around five miles per hour all over the state. We're going to continue to see some increasing winds, though. Tomorrow, not that bad, but Friday evening, I would say. Friday evening into Saturday, that's when the winds are going to be pretty gusty. Some of the areas will see wind gusts around 35 to even 40 miles per hour. So we got to get ready for more rain, a little bit of snow on the back end, and then some breezy conditions moving on in. Average high, 44 degrees. We're going to stay slightly below average the next couple of days, and then closer to average, maybe a day of slightly above average temperatures, and then right back down to cooler weather. Middle of next week, though, gets interesting, very interesting. There's going to be a big low-pressure system moving in. Maybe a lot of snow will be moving in north of town still a week away we'll keep an eye on things upper 30s for tonight though rain is likely patchy fog as well for tomorrow though mainly a rain events a little bit of snow will be mixing in very late in the afternoon hours temperatures in those lower 40s our extended forecast outlook does show a good looking easter with temperatures in those mid 40s